Download ESG Football 24. It's free to play. Coming soon. If you hate Madden already, this video is probably going to piss you off a little bit more if you haven't heard the story of ESG Football. In this video, they're going to talk more about how they got started, how, they, how this company came about, and if you're like me who watched the trailer over and over, you'll notice some new little gameplay footage within it that we haven't seen before. But I'm not going to waste any more time. Check this video out. This is ESG Football 24, or as some in the gaming community are calling it, the Madden Killer. ESG is the brainchild of two former professional gamers. One of them was formally ranked number one in the world in Madden, while the other blew up to hundreds of millions of views on YouTube. They even had a documentary about them on Amazon and Apple TV. These guys did it all. But one day, tragedy struck, and dozens were shot in a mass shooting at a Madden tournament. EA did what EA typically does, which is putting themselves before others and had their legal team bury everything. Ray and Lamont said f that and walked away from their ties to EA and Madden. While Ray was suffering from PTSD from what he witnessed at the shooting, he cooked up the idea of a technology company disguising itself as a video game. Something that could give gamers what they want while increasing recourse for athletes, celebrities, and influencers. Hell, it would even alleviate customer acquisition cost for brands and corporations. He spent months perfecting it, but when I tell you VCs and publishers laughed him out the room, they literally laughed him out the room. But along the way, there were some believers in ESG, and these people had some serious weight. Rock Nation's former president recognized something in Ray and Lamont and saw how serious they were about their vision. It certainly didn't hurt that Ray had just negotiated to acquire a multi-million dollar code base for the only other existing football video game on Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, and by the way, he did it for free. No rev share, no licensing fee, and no equity given up. Yeah, exactly. Long story short, they went on to raise a few million dollars while expanding their investment team. Now, ESG had a squad. We're talking investors like future Hall of Famers Shady McCoy and Cam Jordan, Super Bowl legend David Tyree, and all pros Sean Merriman and Justin Bethel. And if you think for one minute athletes are all they have, then guess again, multi-billion dollar corporation Magic Eden came on board as an investor, as well as some heavy hitters on Wall Street. It wasn't long until the publishers came back and offered a first rights publishing deal worth tens of millions. But this isn't about selling out for a quick buck with these guys. They're in it for the long run. They also have tens of millions of views about them right now on social media from kids literally thanking God for a long-awaited competitor to EA Sports. I'm saying all this to you because I don't want you to make the same mistakes as others. So-called experts pontificated industry dogma and told these guys they couldn't get it done without tens of millions of dollars. They were wrong. They said Ray couldn't market this without millions more. So how would they explain ESG being pre-release yet there are tens of millions of views from content creators begging for release on social media, while ESG's also being plastered all over Times Square billboards or center ring in Madison Square Garden, Prudential Center, and OKC Arena during some of the biggest events in the world, all without a dollar spent. EA Sports has D1 athletes in motion capture, while ESG has NFL players in motion capture. EA Sports Technology offers 3v3 multiplayer, while ESG offers 11v11 multiplayer all real users, while also adding the neighborhood mode that gamers have been requesting for a decade. It's not about knocking EA Sports off, but if these guys even touch 10% of Madden's numbers, then that's hundreds of millions in revenue. So the only thing left to say is, what time would you like me to schedule the call with them?